Hello. So, I just wanted to give an update on where, where I am on my studies and just to reveal something that the Most High let me understand. Okay, one night I was in prayer and just asking him, you know, if there was anything that he wanted me to know. Seeking the Spirit because, you know, it's been like a lot of things altered in the Bible. And, you know, just going directly to the Spirit. And he told me that he's coming to America because his people are there. He's coming to America. So I actually had went over um, prophecies concerning the dreadful day of Yahweh, the day that he's going to come to earth and he's going to be manifest in his physical form and be king in the earth, in the heavens and earth. So, like, when he said that he was coming to America, you know, I was trying to figure out, like, what was he trying to say, you know, because, like, I've been seeing videos saying that America is the real uh, promised land and things like that, the real Jerusalem and things. And so I was trying to figure out if he was trying to say that or if he was just saying that, you know, he was just coming to free his people or something. And actually, before I began my research, I came across a, a picture online that showed, um, it was speaking about Nat Turner. It was like a sign. And it said that, um, it said Jerusalem, Virginia. So, come to find out, America did have a, Jer have a Jerusalem at one point. And Jerusalem was changed to Cortland by English colonists in 1886. So America did have a Jerusalem. And um, in those areas, um, in uh, Jerusalem, Virginia, now known as Cortland, there are valleys. You have the Shenandoah Valleys. You have uh, the Mount of Olives over there. You have waterfalls, caves. There was even a, there's a, even a cave that was known as um, Solomon's Cave which is now Cujo's cave but it was once called Solomon's cave and it's just so much uh, uh, North Carolina has the uh, palm trees which remind me of uh, the, the verse that mentioned the city of palm trees and it's just so I'm, I was trying to figure out if he was uh, saying that you know this like confirming that this was the original or which Jerusalem he was coming to because when you read Zechariah chapter 14 verse 4 it says and his feet shall stand in that day upon the Mount of Olives which is before Jerusalem on the east and the Mount of Olives shall cleave in the midst thereof toward the east and toward the west and there shall be a, a very great valley and half of the mountain shall remove toward the north and half of it toward the south. And ye shall flee to the valley of the mountains. For the valley of the mountains shall reach unto Azel. Yeah, ye shall flee like as ye fled from before the earthquake in the days of Uzziah king of Judah. And Yahweh my God shall come and all the saints with thee. So you have the Mount of Olives. Which you have a uh, Mount of Olives Trail. That is in Virginia, okay, and then the Shenandoah Valleys, and you know that um, it's mountains and caves and things all in uh, in the land and those lands over there. So it was, I guess, him letting me understand which Jerusalem he was going to, which uh, Mount of Olives he was going to, because. When you look at those lands over there on Google Earth, it's all green. It's all green. It looks like it could be a wilderness, which wilderness in the Bible is, is a place of safety. You know, like uh, the woods, the wilderness. So that's what it looked like. But when you look at Mount of Olives over there, you know, it's a city. You know, it's buildings and things like that. It don't look much like where you can hide, honestly, to me. So if he say that flee into the valleys, you know, 
to me, it looked like it would be uh, the Jerusalem and Mount Olives of America. So, yeah, it's, it's when you research uh, those, the, those uh, states over there, like, Virginia is known as the mother of states because of the wealth of the land the uh, agriculture the it's um the Shenandoah Valley is itself uh themselves are um underlined in limestone and things like that it's just a rich 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 land and the 2010 census it said it only had like 1200 something people that was living there and um even looking even looking at the area on Google Earth you know, it's mansions and things up up in that area, mansions and and um, yeah. So I think it was, you know, which one? And he says people, his people are in America, and and this is where he's coming. So when you read Deuteronomy twenty eight, it's clear who the Israelites are so when you look at what's happening to those people today and you and you see that um, like in America where the Most High is coming how his people are treated oppressed being killed um, all kind of ways being taken out and I wonder if they know that he's coming here to you know to, because his people are here and they are trying to take out as many of his people as they can 